Throughout time, organisms have been adapting to different environments. Here in the New Zealand bush, plants like this tree here have adapted to live in wet and dark conditions. We could compare this to the way that we humans change our attire to adapt to different conditions. Up a mountain in the snow, we wear mountaineering gear. On a hot summer's day at the beach, we wear togs and a hat. If we didn't adapt to changing environments, the effects could be disastrous. In the same way, if this species of tree did not adapt to the conditions of this bush habitat, it would have been wiped out. New Zealand's animals and plants are one of the most interesting in the world because of our geographical isolation. Since the Tasman Sea formed separating New Zealand from Australia, there has been minimal introduction of new migrant species, therefore causing our plants and animals to be endemic to New Zealand. A good example of evolution in New Zealand is of our native parrots. The modern New Zealand parrots, Kākāpō, Kaka, and Kea that we see today did not always exist. These parrots have arisen from one common ancestor from Australia through a series of geographical and climate disturbances. After the breakup of the Gondwana segment separating New Zealand from Australia 100 million years ago, the Proto-Kaka Kakapo evolved from the Australian ancestors through vicariants, the process of new species being formed by migration and isolation. The New Zealand environment then became densely forested about 60 to 80 million years ago, causing the divergence of the Proto-Kaka Kakapo into the nocturnal flightless Kakapo and the tree-dwelling Proto-Kaka. Breeding occurs with Kakapo, with prospective mates fighting over the female, with the largest one winning. This then meant that future generations would be larger, but since flying was so costly in energy, being so large, the Kakapo then lost its ability to fly. In New Zealand at this time, there were no mammal predators of the Kakapo, so there was no necessity to fly. The Kakapo then evolved to become the largest and sole flightless parrot in the world. A new alpine environment then came about with the formation of the Southern Alps 5 million years ago, causing another divergence of the species Protokaka into the Kia and the Kaka. The Kia gained several adaptations to allow it to survive in the frozen and windy conditions of its mountainous habitat. It has thick plumage to reduce exposure to the harsh climate, and a long, slender bill to access food amongst rocks and snow. In the Kaka parrot, which is found in both the North and South Islands, we can see the result of recent speciation. When you look at the, the morphology of these two populations, you can see slight differences in size and color, where the populations on the South Island are slightly more brighter than those on the North Island. Now these differences, uh, we're not really sure what the reasons are, but they almost certainly evolved very recently since the formation of Cook Strait, which was only formed about 400,000 years ago. They are isolated from each other, and over time they're slowly diverging adapting to their local environments. The Kaka on the South Island adapting to a slightly cooler climate, uh, forests that are perhaps a bit more alpine uh, than those populations on the North Island, which are adapting to forests that are slightly warmer, slightly different climate. It is virtually impossible to predict how our native plants and animals will evolve in the future. There are a number of factors existing already that would influence their evolution, such as predators, or mate preferences. There are also a great many predicted future factors that would most likely affect their evolutionary path as well. Perhaps global warming, ice ages, introduced predators, or future food sources. To preserve our endemic species, we must find a balance between conservation and excessive intervention, such as genetic engineering. We can only hope that our efforts will preserve our native flora and fauna for future generations to enjoy.